guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another makeup tutorial for you guys and it's based on this look right here, obviously. Um, but this look is a sunset orange half cut crease kind of look and it's obviously like quite neutral. And if you want to, if you're looking to dabble in more into bright colors but you're not really sure where to start and also kind of like try out a cut crease but you don't really know how to do it or what to do, then this is the perfect thing to do. I think dabbling into like the color section is a bit frightening sometimes, especially at the beginning, and orange is the one color that is the most forgiving out of them all. It's one that you can, and every single skin tone can pull off, um, it's very forgiving, you can just play around with it, it's a warm color, so I feel like this is the perfect color that you could go for if you're trying to look for brighter colors on your lid and things like that, and uh, since I paired it up with like a half cut crease, it's the beginning of a cut crease, so you could just practice with this and then you can go on with the full cut crease if you don't really know how to do it and I'm obviously I'm going to show you how to do it on like my eye shape it's quite hard for the cut crease to see if I do it like regular cut crease so I have to go a bit higher and I'll show you how to do that in the video um, but yeah basically this is the makeup thing done and also I don't know if you've noticed I bathed my ears like the second hole I got them on both ears and I'm just so happy I've been wanting to do this for such a long time but yeah I just wanted to tell you here on camera um, I also like I didn't get my nails done. These are like Primark nails, I love them. Um, they're one pound, and um, if you wet the nails well, they do last like quite a bit. Um, and they're one pound, so I mean, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'm so happy about everything, and without further ado, let's just let's just go ahead and get started with the video. I accidentally cut that part off, and I can't get that footage back, so I'm sorry. But anyways, we're going to begin with a little bit of a sing along. I was just jamming to some songs, and I really wanted to, to just like get, get ready, do like a play with makeup, get ready. So I'm going to start off prim by priming my face with the Garland Metairie Pearl, and this just gave such a gave. This just gives such a good radiance to the skin. I just like rub it all over the skin, as you can see, my skin looks so glowy. And then, um, as the problem as it may seem, I am going to take all my rings off because I just I just can't work with that. Um, then I'm going to prime slash kind of tint my face with the Olay BB cream in the shade Fair, and that kind of just gives like a sheer tint. And I don't know, I just really liked how it looked. And bless me, I always laugh when I sneeze. Anyways, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever. Ultra HD stick foundation. It's I don't remember the shade name. I'll link everything in the description down below if you're interested. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of that. I just barely grabbed some on my brush and then I kind of just kind of yeah put it all over my face. Anyways, I'm going to grab the Fit Me Maybelline creaseless concealer. Why am I fixing concealers? No, the Fit Me Maybelline concealer in the shade 05 Fair, and I'm just going to put it all over the place and blend it out with a beauty sponge. Now, as you can tell, it goes like, it really brightens my under eyes, so I really, really like this concealer. It's affordable, it's drugstore, so I love using this. And then I apply a little tiny bit more, and then set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, and I just grab a brush and kind of just like dust it all over the place, and yeah, I use that big side for all my face, and then I grab my sponge, and then the other tiny side to set my under eyes and my lids, so I could get ahead and like move on with the rest of my face, like no. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to bronze my face with the Bourjois Deluxe Powder Drunzing, bron Drunzing, what is wrong with me today? Bronzing powder chocolate thingy, it smells so good and I really recommend it, it's really nice. And next I'm going to contour, highlight and contour with the NYX um, Pro Contour Palette, highlight and contour pro palette. Um, and I'm just going to use that shade right there. I have no idea what the shade name is. Uh, as usual, I'll link everything down below. And I'm just going to use um, that shade to contour both my cheekbones and my nose. And then I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder blush. Um, I don't know the shade name. It's rubbed off. I'll also link it in the description down below. And I just give myself like a, like a nice little tint to my cheeks. And then highlight it with the NYX Strobe of Genius highlighting palette, illuminating palette, and I went in with those two shades. I went in with like the bulk of it with the shade that I hit pan on, as you can see, I really hit pan on that one. And then I kind of just topped it off a little bit, like right there, with the lighter shade. And then with that kind of like eye pencil, I love using eye, pens eye pencils, I mean <laughs> eye brushes to like contour and highlight my nose. Anyways, moving on. I am setting my face with the illuminating setting powder by e.l.f. 
and that just kind of gives like a first off glow type of thing and then I, as you can see, I'm moving on to my brows and I'm just using the NYX eyebrow gel with a little bit of the Ingla liquid, I don't know what it is, like a liquid liner type of thing. And then I'm just filling in my brows right there. I really wanted to like use this. I haven't used it in such a long time and I wanted to have kind of like a bold eyebrow look. So I went in with that and just brushed it out with a spoolie. And yeah, that's basically what I do. I kind of do like tiny hair strokes and then kind of fill it in a tiny bit on the inside because my eyebrows are really already bushy. So yeah. And then with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Brow Plumper, the dark one, I just set my eyebrows and the eyebrows are done. Next for my eyes, I am going to kind of like set the base with that uh, highlight shade from the contour palette that I used on my face and then move on to the 39A palette by Morphe. Now, I wasn't going to use this in my videos anymore, but they have permanently put it back like online and it's in stock. So I love this palette so much. I love it to death. The shades are amazing. The quality, the pigment, everything's insane. So yeah. Basically, I'm just grabbing those shades as transition shades and just blending everything out. And then using the NYX Ultimate palette, I'm going to grab that really orangey shade and just place it on, on the outer corner up to the half of, the, up to like, yeah, the half of my eye. Half of my eye, I don't really know what I'm saying. Oh my god, it's been some time since I've done a voiceover, so sorry. Anyways, I'm just using the same brush that I used initially as the transition for the transition shade to blend everything out. And then with that tiny tapered brush, I'm just going to apply that darker orangey shade, just richer, warmer, just, ugh, I love it. I'm going to put that on the outer corner and blend, start blending it inwards. And then you repeat the process until you get to the point you like. Um, you just continue doing it bit by bit so you don't pick up too much color or it gets too like muddy or it's too hard to blend and then you start moving on to the darker colors. And again, it's kind of like using the browns. If you were just using regular browns, just think of it the same thing now just with color and you just have to kind of pack it on and go little bit by little. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And now I just grab that little tiny, tiny shader brush to apply the same colors under my like eye. <laughs> on my lash line um, in the same order like from darkest to lightest and then I'm going to do the cut crease now for this I'm going to use a thick concealer this is my pro tip use a thick concealer and something that you can really drag around and can be forgiving don't use a liquidy concealer because otherwise it's just going to crack and it's just going to transfer and it's just I don't really recommend that for cut creases so at first as you can see I kind of look up and down a little bit and then I kind of trace where my crease would be with my eye open if that makes any sense like I kind of try to open uh, I try to open and close my eye to see where my crease um, is as you can see the little fold is that's where your crease is and then I just do the cut crease a little bit higher because since my eyes tend to hood a little tiny bit you can't really see the cut crease so that's my tip if you have like lightly hooded eyes <coughs> sorry just do the cut crease a little bit higher so yeah after that, I just deepen out the oranges and then start applying the shadows again on the outer corner. Do the same process um, to deepen like the cut crease, like where the concealer is. I did use a fine liner brush, so yeah, I just used that and then basically just did the same process. Started blending upwards, used a little bit more color, little by little, and then I set the concealer with that same NYX um, contour shade, highlight shade. Then I set my face and did my liner, eyelashes, and fake lashes, like mascara and lashes, off camera because that is such a mission to try to get on camera. And now I'm moving on to my lips. My lips I'm using, my lips I'm using, for my lips I'm using um, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London, 04 London, and I love this. This is such a warm toned nude. And I don't really use this except when I'm using like really warm and just rich colors. This is perfect for autumn, affordable and really comfortable. So if you want kind of like an everyday lipstick for autumn, this one's it. I really like this one. Next, I'm just cleaning up the outer, like I'm just cleaning the lipstick up so it looks sharper and nicer because this is kind of like a really nudey everyday type of lip color and it can tend to be a little bit messy, but um, I like just sharpening up the edges of my lips and everything and, shi and highlighting. What is that? <laughs> highlighting like my cupid's bow with a concealer and just making everything into a crisp line. Yeah. And this is basically the finished look, guys. I hope you really, really like this. If you have any other questions, tips, recommendations, anything, put it in the description. I mean, tell me in the comments down below. And yeah, um, I hope you really like this video. I love you guys so much. Bye!